Welcome to Daniel Reviews. I'm Daniel Goodwin, and today we are looking at the Yondor R1 robot vacuum. Let's get into it. There are so many robot vacuums on the market today, and so many different price points as well. You can spend, well, you could, you could take out a small loan <laughs> just to buy your own robot vacuum from like um, Roomba, you know, like a Roomba, iRobot Roomba. Um, some of those are now getting like crazy expensive. Um, and then there's a whole list uh, everywhere in between. So I thought for this video, I'd take a look at the Yonder R1 and see what you get for your money. Okay, this is what you get in the box. You get the unit itself, the little robot. You get a sleek little docking station and power supply. You get a spare filter. You get a cleaning tool. This side has a rake motion. This side has the bristles. You get four of these sweeper brooms. You get a batteries and a little remote. How cool is that? And of course, the manual. Oh, also some zip ties. To attach the little sweeper, it's pretty straightforward. You just Put it on there, line it up, pop it on, and take it off, you can just pull it off. Pretty pretty basic. A few things to point out, you've got your front wheel, which is a full 360 motion here, which is pretty cool. It's uh, not, I wouldn't say rubber, it's like a plastic. However, these ha definitely have a nice rubber uh, grip to them, these side wheels, and that's where most of your traction is gonna come from. Um, you actually have two of the soft brush um, sweepers here. So you got another one here. So both are gonna be doing a sweeping action here. You've got your, um, what do I wanna call uh, Contact sensors for charging on the wireless base. The base makes contact there and that's how it charges. Pretty slick. Um, and then of course, this is going to be your um, suction port. That's what I, I don't know why I couldn't think of that. There's your suction port. A couple things to cover on this. This is a cover that opens up to reveal the dust tank maintenance. Look at that. So that's kind of cool. You can take this out and you will need to, I'm sure, um, and empty it once it gets, you know, dirty and full. Take all this out, clean it out, and then, of course, put it back together. But um, pretty, it's nice that it's all self contained so you can pull this out and probably take it somewhere and clean it up and then put it back and then cover it back up. We got the docking station down and it is charging. You can tell it's charging because it's flashing red. So this is the smart app by Toya, which uh, I've used other Toya devices, um, and so I, I am somewhat familiar with that, but haven't used a robot, so I'm going to try to add one and <sighs> see what it does. Um, so we'll try that. Allow. Allow. Boy, it's you know, signing your life away, right? But yeah, I found this right away, so let's just go ahead and try to do that. Let's see if it adds it. All right, successfully added. So here you can rename it. So I'm going to call it, isn't it? Geez, what's the robot from the Jetsons? Was it Rosie? I think it was Rosie. That's what I'm going to call it. All right, so here we got a lot of good information. It gives me the battery, 95%. Um, I could go ahead and start. I can do... Um, different modes here, auto, edge, that's interesting, spot cleaning, manual, very cool. You can go into some scheduling, which is nice. Um, find your robot in case you lose your robot. <laughs> um, sometimes that might be, uh, that might be true. Okay, um, so pretty cool. I'm going to let it finish charging and then uh, we'll probably start this up and see what happens. Oh, it's a good one. So I don't know that my dogs are fans, but I kind of am.
Oh, it, it sensed that. That's cool. So we have a pretty good transition. It's curious to see how well it transitions on that. I'd rather get stuck here. I think it might. Well, it totally did get stuck there. It does seem to navigate the corners pretty well. It's remarkably quiet. Even really close, it's not very loud. Now, I don't know how strong the suction is. Does a pretty good job at most of these tight spaces. It does not seem to get stuck under the baseboard, which is really nice. And honestly, it is picking up some debris that I'm seeing. At least it's moving it around. It's really navigating that edge. Okay, so what are my impressions? Well, um, a few. First of all, I was very impressed with how quiet this R1 model is. Um, I had previously owned an iRobot Roomba. Gosh, I think it was the 9. I mean, it was really expensive. It was like it had the big docking station and everything. I feel like it was around like $900. And that was super loud. I mean, pretty, pretty noticeably loud. Like when it was on, it was like, Bleh! you could hear it around the house. Um, so with the R1, uh, very quiet. You can definitely run that um, while you're in the room and not be annoyed at how loud it is. You don't have to yell over it. Um, it's very quiet. So I really like that. Uh, the second, I thought I did a pretty good job um, in the dining room where I was running it. Uh, that's kind of where we also have uh, the dog bed and uh, I've got a few clips. Yeah, a lot of dog hair collects there if you don't stay on top of it. Um, it did a good job handling that. Sucked it right up. The little bristles, bristles in the front, raking it in really helps with that. But I thought it did a great job. Now, of course, I have to have to caveat that with, if you're comparing it to, a, you know, a Dyson or something where you have a lot of suction and power and vacuuming, no, it's not that kind of um, you know, it's not going to give you that level of, of power, but it's not intended to. It's like, uh, it, it's like the equivalent of, of, I call it the equivalent of taking a broom and lightly sweeping a room, but you can do it every single day. And that's pretty useful, right? That's what the robots, <laughs> uh, the robot vacuum provide for you. Next, in terms of value, I think you get a lot here, right? Like you get a, um, a quiet, uh, robotic vacuum that uh, with a docking station um, that is pretty uh, hands-off and you get a pretty good app with it the smart app uh, where you can do scheduling like if you want it to run you know when you're not home or at night when you won't hear it because it is that quiet um, you can do all those things that's really nice what doesn't it have or at least I haven't found uh, it doesn't have like a map of, of the room that is a really cool feature that I know uh, the Roombas have, or at least the more advanced features, whatever, um, where it kind of creates a map of, of your floor plan or of your rooms, and then you can manually bar off some sections. Well, that's a really nice option. Um, haven't found that yet with the, with the R1. If they have it, I just haven't found it. Um, that would be really nice to, to, you know, if you really want to limit the robot to just one room and an open floor plan, for example, that'd be a nice option. Okay, but bottom line, I'm very impressed. I think it's great value. Don't have any negatives to say of it. It, it worked really well in, in our floor plan. Again, uh, there's limitations. You know, if you got a lot of furniture around, you got 
um, lots of steps or uh, different height uh, rooms and things, that's going to be a problem. Um, if you've got a lot of obstructions, you know, those are all things that are going to play into how effective it is for you. But generally speaking, it does a good job, um, as particularly on the hard floors, which is what I got it for, um, as, as like a light sweeper that I can run every single day. Um, the most important things I can say to you is stay on top of cleaning out that bin. Um, you let it collect too much, you're going to have problems. That's the case with any vacuum. Like I, with my Dysons, I clean them out after every single time I use them just because it, it keeps them in tip top shape. And I recommend you do the same with this. That'll cover this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, pick yourself up an R1. I'll have the link below. And uh, if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button because we got a lot more great videos coming. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself.